Hey guys, this is Varun. So in this video, I'll be guiding you all on how to install okay, so SQL Plus software to work on Oracle Database Tenji. Okay. So before installing, so make sure you people have downloaded and extracted the software. So in case if you have not done, so refer my previous video where you will get to know how to download and extract the software. Okay. So once after the process is done, so what you all need to do is so go to the extracted file. Okay, so if you all look at my cursor, so this is the folder I will be having. So go to the extracted file. So I'll get one more folder database. Go to the database folder. So where I'll be having so many folders here. So go to the last but one file that we are having. There is a file called setup. Okay. So just single click on that. Just a single click on that. Now again right click on this. Okay, so many people right click on this, you'll get so many options here. So go to the last one that is properties. Okay. Now here you will get some options like this. Go to the second one at the top. Compatibility. Okay. So now look at the cursor. So the last option, there is an option telling change settings for all users. Just click on this. Okay. And you will get a page called setup properties. So where the first option that we are having run this program in compatibility mode. So you people need to enable it. It is disabled. Just enable. Just click on that. Okay. Now, so guys, if you are having Windows version as so either 8, 8.1 or 10. So what you all need to do is, so here, so it will be showing service pack 2. Just click on that. Change it for service pack 3. If you are having what Windows version 8, 8.1 or 10. So change it for service pack 3. But if you are having Windows 7, so service pack 2 remains same okay so as of mine it is windows 10 so i'll just change it for service pack 3 then i'll just click on apply okay so after doing the changes click on apply then click on okay so after this again click on okay yes so guys once after the setting is done so there is a file called setup okay so if you all look here the last part one file just double click on that and it will ask for the permission Okay, so if you ask for the permission, just provide the permission, click on yes. Okay, and just wait for a few seconds. Yes, it will take a few seconds, just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so you will get some page like this. So, where it is telling select installation method. So what you all need to do is, if you all look here at the last, so there is a field called database password. Just provide the password. So and the password you all will be providing is Tiger, T I G E R. Okay. So either in uppercase or lowercase, you people can provide. So again, you people need to confirm the password, Tiger. Just provide it as Tiger, T I G E R, either in uppercase or lowercase. Okay. So once after providing the password, don't do any other changes. Just click on the option that you are having at the bottom next. Okay, so it will take few seconds. And while this process, if anyone get errors, okay, so there might be some settings you people need to do. Okay, so in case if you people get error, so you have not done the settings in the beginning, that is changing this service pack 3. So do the settings, so you won't be getting error. Okay, so now You'll be getting some option like this so again so just click on next at the bottom and it will show some message like this okay so don't worry about it just click on yes okay and wait for a few seconds yes so here you will be getting an option called install so just click on install okay so it will start installing and guys this will take few minutes okay and make sure this is not minimized and guys while installing if you people get any messages like uh, uh, yeah, there will be an option called allow access ok so right not everyone will get only few people will be getting in case if you get it so there will be an option called allow access ok so just click on that
and guys yes so if you people get something like this dot net frameworks okay so just click on cancel okay so just click on what cancel so not everyone will get so in case if you people get like this just click on cancel so how much of a time so it is displayed just click on cancel yes, now so it will start creating the clone database okay so it will take again few minutes and make sure this it is not minimized okay it should not be minimized Okay. So guys, once after this process is done, so you will get the options like this. So where it will be telling password management. Okay, so these are the options you will be having. So make sure, so you people are clicking on this. Just click on this option that you are having, password management. Okay. So here, so these are the options I will be getting. So where the first column tells username. Okay, so what you all need to do is just scroll down. Okay, so there, there is a username called Scott. Okay, so what you all need to do is you just need to unlock it. So right now the uh, username is locked. Okay, so what you all need to do is you need to unlock it. So just beside this in the another column. So what you all need to do is tick mark is there. Just remove the tick mark. Just click on that, it will get removed. Okay. So what you all need to do is after removing the tick mark in the next column, so you people need to provide the password. Okay, so and the password is T I G E R Tiger. The same password either in uppercase or uh, lowercase again confirm the password tiger again in uppercase or lowercase you can provide so again this is for scott username below that there is one more username called hr so repeat the same process remove the tick mark click on that provide the password as tiger and confirm the password as tiger okay so after this is done now you people click on ok okay so again you will get back the screen so again just click on ok Yes, so wait for a few seconds. Yes, so it is showing the message called end of installation. So you have installed successfully. Now what you want to do is just click on exit. There is an option. So it will show you the option that is telling do you really want to exit. Click on yes. Okay. So once after this process is done. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. So guys, uh, so guys, some browsers, okay, so will be displayed like this. Say for example, Internet Explorer or for a few of them, Mozilla Firefox or for a few of them, Google Chrome. So whatever it might be, okay, so it will just uh, display like this. So just close all these browsers. Just close this. Okay, so make sure whatever the windows is open, just close all. Okay. So now after installation is done, so what you all need to do is, okay, so just search for SQL plus okay so on your keyboard so click on windows button and search for SQL plus space plus okay so where you will be having these many options you will get the option SQL plus uh, software okay so what you all need to do is just right click on that okay and you will get an option called open file location Okay, so right click, you will get an option called open file location. Click on that, everyone. Okay, so here what you all need to do is the last fold, uh, file that we are having that is SQL plus, just single click on that. Now right click on this. So you'll get so many options. Go to the last one, properties. Okay, and I'll get something like this. Go to the compatibility option. So look at the cursor. And here again, go to the last one, change settings for all users, change settings for all users. Okay. So here, what you all need to do is, okay, so, so there is an option called run this program as an administrator. What? Run this program as an administrator. Just click on this. So make sure it is enabled. Okay. And here it might have changed. So that is you in the beginning you have changed for service pack 3, but it has been changed to service pack 2. Don't worry about it. Okay. So only thing you all need to do is just change run this program as an administrator. Enable it. Click on apply. Again click on OK. So again click on OK. Okay. So now if you want this software, so right click on this. So if you want, you can just ping to taskbar. Okay. So it will be in the taskbar. 
so then you can use this just double click on this so again it will ask for uh, administrator purpose that is permission provide the permission click on yes yes you will get the software so here it is asking for username so username is scott yes c o t t scott and the password that you all will be providing is tiger the same tiger password just provided and there is one more field called ask string just leave it empty click on okay Yes. So it is showing a message telling so connected to Oracle database Tenji. Okay, so enterprise edition something. So guys, yes. So you people have installed the software successfully. Okay. So that's it. Now you can start working in the software. So so guys, once after this installation is done. Okay. So you can work in the software. And if anyone getting error while installing, you can just put it in comment box. Okay. You can just put it in comment box. I'll just guide you people. Okay. So that's it.